Good afternoon. I'm really glad to be here today with you and this great uh, initiative of comics. And we are really proud like, uh, of having such conference in, in Bahrain, which is, I think, the right time of having uh, such things, especially with the great things going with AI. So um, I'm here today. I will try to do my best to wrap up the topic. Uh, as uh, my colleague mentioned, uh, I'm here to talk about the role of ideation and innovation. Uh, I believe, like all of us, we are hearing so many definitions these days about innovation, ideation, design, design thinking, uh, brainstorming, and all these terms which we may use it, but maybe we don't really know the difference between them and why it's important to know why uh, why it's important to know the, the, the difference between each one of them because in the end we don't want to have the keywords why we don't really uh, 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 implement it in our uh, organizations yeah. or wherever a community you are serving. I think it's one of the things like uh, we are facing in all the conferences, having the pointers from ages and still we are looking for where we should go and click on to change the slides. I think this is something we need to think about another way to really innovate the way of why we ever should look at where we should click to point the slides. All right, uh, before we talk about ideation and what is ideation, I would like to mention here why we ideate. Okay, and what's the source of ideas? People thought when, uh, for example, I am uh, heading the Ibaka Innovation Center, and they think my role is just to sit down in my office and park your ideas or listen to the uh, employees' ideas or observations. Why? I've never seen it like that. Every day when I go to my work, I feel like solving issues, as Mr. Jal mentioned on his last slide, we are serving community, we are solving issues. And from my happy experience with inventions and innovation, I always see the ideation came from the social responsibility. Regardless if you are working for which field, you are doing, regardless of which organization you are, if you are thinking that you are responsible to enhance the services you are dealing with, the ideas will come to you. And as you know, like most of the ideas will not come when you are on your desk, will come in strange places sometimes. So listen to your inner thoughts about any ideas came to you, regardless at what time and where. Now, let's go back to the theory. What is ideation? All right. So many people, they have mixed understanding uh, of uh, the difference between ideation or innovation. I see that we will never reach for innovation if we don't have a proper ideation process. Otherwise, with all this advancement technology, we will stop somewhere. So we should understand what is the ideation means. Based on that, we can go step by step. Yes, sometimes the idea will come from different places, randomly. We don't never thought about that you will bring idea, but when the idea comes, good to celebrate the idea, but you should take it to a proper process to reach for a real innovation. How? We will talk about it. ideation and brainstorming. Sometimes in your organization or uh, uh, and, uh, your workplace, they will call employees and they will ask them to think together in a group. All right? They will, okay, tell us like, what, is, what is in your mind. Maybe they, even they will not call it ideas. They will tell you what are the problems you are facing in your workplace in daily place. And people will start talking about, and the easiest thing we always, all of us, do is complaining. We complain. The process is slow. Uh, we, uh, this is so many manual work. The administrator uh, part of the job is missing. And, 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 Very easy to complain. And if we will start talk, everyone will talk. But not everyone will take the complaint 
and turn into a challenge and will be responsible to solve it. And here is the real meaning of ideation from my practical, humble experience. It's not really humble. It's almost 15 years of innovation and inventions. So after all these years, I can tell you this is the start point. Knowing the challenge, knowing that there are some things not, let's, let's say, let me use a better word of it to explain, like, you see something is not going well, all right? And you take the responsibility to solve it. And here also, um, an open invitation for everyone. Please, don't go and do a routine or routine work while you know that the result will be the same or we will not reach for the results that you wish to go for or the expectation from your manager or your department is not, will, will not be matched, right? So brainstorm, the, the difference between ideation and brainstorming is totally different thing. Brainstorming, we will come all as well in one room and we will try to do ideas as much as we can and we will see what will work and what will not. And sometimes uh, the organization use that to know their challenges. Not necessarily that they will take it as ideas to be implemented. So the idea, when it's come, the idea came from a problem, or from something you want to improve, from a challenge, from anything that you feel like it's not going properly, so the idea will start to come to you from here, from this point. Okay, what's next? We're okay. We 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 have a notification now within ourselves so that there is an idea came to me. Okay, I can solve it this way. But is it doable? Maybe the thing that I'm thinking about it's not within my environment, but it is already implemented somewhere else. So why you reinvent the wheel? And this is so, I've seen that in so many places. Like you have never seen the chair before, and you thought like, okay, let me invent the chair. Great, maybe you have not seen it in your environment, but the chairs exist from ages. So we should also cope with and benchmark all the ideas and innovation globally. Now in 2023, and again with the AI revolution, no way to celebrate ideas because it's really difficult to bring new ideas into practice. So you should know and do a proper research before celebrating your ideas and say, oh, I am innovator and I have idea will save life. Okay? So go and do your proper research. In this uh, session, I'm not talking about patents and intellectual property, but if we will open this door, I will even make the challenge harder. Because if we will go and think about the ideas, which is um, in terms of anybody else did it before, we will open another door, which is, I think, not necessary to be mentioned today. So, the main point, when you think about idea, great, but don't take it further without thinking about doing a proper research to understand in which level the idea you, you receive and what others they did in similar to your thoughts. What is the, see, when you now search about the steps of ideation, you will see so many theories, you will see so many forms and steps, they call it a different way, and, but from what I, I see it's words, it's one of the examples which I uh, display to you today, is the five steps of ideation. The first step is empathize. So when the idea came, don't keep it for yourself, don't think that you reach for some, like, okay, Good to be innovative, but it's greater to share it with the subject matter experts. They can enrich the idea and let you know in which states is the idea. The second thing is design the idea. All these steps 
now I will walk through. You cannot, so many times you cannot do it yourself. You will need a team of experts to help you reach the implementation phase of any idea. So design the idea is really, really one of the main important phase of any ideation process. And so many people stop their ideas in this phase because they cannot cope with all the challenges and requirements in design thinking uh, phase. Now, if you can see, it's obviously from this uh, infographic, the idea is, it is the third part, or the mid, mid way of the ideation process itself. That means in the middle of your ideation process, you will think about re-ideate your idea. After a proper research, as I've mentioned, and talking with expertise, do so many kind of different researches and data collection, you will understand the ideation more. The fourth phase is a prototype. Now, this is again one of the challenging uh, phases that we are facing in, in, in ideation. Sometimes the idea is kind of combination between hardware and software integration. So that's me and a lot of work need to be done to reach for the final prototype. And so many times we finish the prototype phase and we do the testing and we need to go back for re-prototype the, the idea. Because prototyping itself it's good, but not necessarily that we will reach for a product that will help you to use it in the market, regardless of the software or hardware. Now, maybe you have like you noticed during my the, the, the previous three minutes, I'm talking how challengeable is ideation. But let's ask ourselves, what is in it for us? Why it's important? Now. Maybe 10 years back, being innovators is, in a way, a choice. Okay, not necessarily that you would be an innovator. Maybe, okay, I am an engineer, thank you very much. I am a, I am a designer, I am a doctor. I'm not necessarily I would be an innovator. Now I continue. Being an innovator in all fields is a must. Because if you are not innovator enough in your field, the AI will do your job. And I don't, I think it's one of the stress thoughts for everyone these days. I've, I've met so many people, they are worried to lose their job. But please remind yourself who created the AI is a human. So if we will give the AI the opportunity to eat the human, that's mean we are giving them this responsibility to take out take us out from our jobs. So, being innovator, bringing ideas in 24-7, it's a must. It's not, these days now, we, we are not in a phase like waiting for consultants to be recruited for any organization to tell them, please do one, two, three, no. This should be part of your job. So what is the benefits of ideation? Will improve the quality of ideas. When we have ideas and we do for it a proper uh, ideation process, we will improve the quality for it. So it will not be just a fancy thing, fancy thing we reach for and that's it. No, it will give it a real quality. The second thing is So, I've seen so many people also thinking that ideation and innovation is something nice to have. No, it's a must to have. So, when we are coming for this point and we all really feel like this is something important and part of our life, we should be really careful about all the data collection related and all the, all the information that we are building in our, in our ideation process should be valid. Their point is better engagement. And this is what I believe the AI cannot do. The AI can give you an 
ideas can you can simply in two seconds receive uh, suggestions from the AI in different fields, but it will not give you engagement. And this is our role to ensure that we are having good engagement between human <laughs> interaction and the data collection. The last thing I am, we should keep ourselves like, okay, all the ideas we cannot reach to the market, that means this waste of time. And so, much, so many innovations stop and part somehow because they are not really capable to understand the market needs. Now, still with all this uh, technology revolution everywhere, globally, still so many organizations have this fear of the risk of taking and accepting ideas. Accepting ideas is a risk taking, yes, but we should be ready for this risk. If we stop because we have fear, okay, this idea will work, will not work, it's good, so, no. so this will not take us a step forward. So, again, we should take the risk and apply it, and we see how, where, it will, where it will take us. Sometimes we start with the idea in, um, in a different stage, and we end it with another stage. But we should try to know the answer. In conclusion, I would like to say the ideation is a powerful tool for driving for innovation. We cannot reach for innovation without the proper ideation. Now, I know it's very difficult to wrap up the topic of ideation and the process of ideation and innovation uh, within this short time, but this is, I, I invite you all to have, to read about the role of ideation and what, what is its impact in innovation. And again, don't let this conference or any similar conference within, for, for innovation and AI revolution to, to be just something that you are just a risk and you will leave. Take a part of this technological walk and be a member of the chain as Gandhi said, that be the change that you wish to see in this world. Don't be just an audience. Don't, don't be just a receiver. Be responsible to take part of the innovation we are facing in day to day. And thank you very much.